So now that I've got front hubs and brakes on, and the differential in with rear brakes on, it's time to dig out the wheels. There's two here, there's three more on the green car. I gotta go pull those puppies off and start working on them. First thing is to hose them off. I mean, like, this one's got quite an insect ecosystem going on. Start with hosing them off and then, uh, I guess I gotta get the tires off, don't I? Hayashi Street 2 racing wheels. These are 13 by 7s and I want to make sure that I have tires in the front that are not so wide I'm going to rub on my fenders. So I clearly can't go with what I've got on there now because they, they always rubbed. And then these are 215, 5013s now. So I'm going to want to avoid that size for the front once these are cleaned up. We'd love to know what you think about what tire I should put on. Back in the day, BF Goodrich TA Radial was the tire to have. We're talking 80s here. But you know what? It's 2015. What are we using now? We'd love to hear what you think about that in the comments section down below. All right, just trying to think of everything here. So before I take the tires off the Hayashi racing wheels and get those... Uh, cleaned and polished up and and before I get my Hayashi racing lugs re-chromed you know I've got like 16 of these puppies 20 of them actually because I got a fifth wheel I need to put these wheels back on the car jounce it around so that I can retorque all of the nuts and bolts on the front and rear suspension so I guess I got to spend the afternoon doing that that's what I'm going to do before I pull these tires off and fix up these wheels. So, uh, yeah, that's what I got to do today. Jouncing it up. That jounced pretty good. Keeping in mind there's no rear shocks because the uh, guy sent me the wrong ones, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Probably torque my nuts and bolts now. It's time for the final torquing of front and rear suspension, nuts and bolts. Alright, that's it. Off come the wheels. Steering arm to strut bolts are 46 to 69 foot pounds. So 46 is where I put them before. And now we're going to 69. 69 dudes! And the metric is 6.4 to 9.5 meter kilograms. 69. Here we go. Takes care of that. Next. Okay, control arm to cross member is four to five and a half meter kilograms or 29 to 40 foot pounds. Dial this puppy into 40. Already at 40. All right. So the Pitman arm I torqued down to 110 based on a Haynes manual. Um, you know, Mazda spec is 13 to 17 meter kilograms or 94 to 123 foot pounds. So even though I've landed the car, jounced it around, I'm going to leave it at 110. It's perfectly fine. So the idler arm to frame 
nuts and bolts are four and a half to five and a half meter kilograms. That's uh, on the top end, that's 40 foot pounds. So here we go with 40 foot pounds. There's a boom. There's 40. So idler arm to center link nut, three and a half meter kilograms, 25 foot pounds. Can't get in there. Pitman arm to center link, it gets four and a half meter kilograms or 32 foot pounds. There we go. Tie rods get torqued to four and a half meter kilograms or 32 foot pounds, both at the center leak side and the steering arm side. There's 32. Now the problem is internally, you know, I got a cross member in the way now. <laughs> How am I gonna torque that one down? Can't get a torque wrench in there. What I'm gonna have to do is just figure out how tight that is and duplicate it with a wrench. Looking for 32. There it is. Now to get those center pieces, the ones that go to the center leg. What I'll do is I'll take my wrench to each nut that's already been torqued, determine its tightness, and then try to duplicate that the best I can. Oh yeah, that is tight. Okay, I can do that. It's about as good as that's getting. This one's got a ways to go. I wonder if I had a swivel socket, if that would get in there. We'll be fine with the spanner. We're good. <clears throat> it's as good as it's getting, bitches. Okay, so these are 10 by 125 bolts. So going by the chart here with a hardness factor of 8, uh, we're looking at 37 foot-pounds. So um, I did use anti-seize, so minus 10%. We're looking at 29 or 30 foot-pounds. Anytime you use anti-seize or a thread lubricant, you use 10% less torque on your nuts and bolts. Similar chart in the factory manual. Very last page has some torque specs. Dialed into 29 here. And if anybody knows an official Mazda torque for this, that would be great. I'll take it. Not in my books. So in the meantime, we're using the general torque spec rules. And I've posted a link to this page down below for anybody that wants to use this. Sixty-five foot-pounds. Nine kilogram meters. Forty foot-pounds. Let's see what the book says here for the strut tower nuts. Very vague, it just says front suspension, 34 foot-pounds, 4.7 meter kilograms. Yeah, that's pretty vague, but gonna tighten them up just to double check them now that it's been jounced. Front leaf pin nuts and bolts. Go uh, one and a half to 2.3 meter kilograms or 11 to 17 foot pounds. 17, coming right up. They gonna kick somebody ass. There's 17, let's do the other side.
That one was loose. And the center pin. We're looking at the same 17 foot pounds or 2.3 meter kilograms for the shackle pin nuts. Now the sky up top, there's no way to get a torque wrench up there. So, just gotta kind of tighten it. Okay, I got an idea how tight that is. That's about like that. Okay. Okay, U bolts should be uh, 4.6 meter kilograms or 33 foot pounds. So, dial up 33. There we go. Okay, next. Ah, this one's, there we go. Where's your 33? Shameless plug here, I do have another YouTube channel. It's called Phoblographer76. It's all about travel, hotel reviews, cooking, and other leisurely things. Check it out. If you like that sort of thing, subscribe. This wraps it up for front and rear suspension. Next up is either weather strip or another chapter of and today, in what else did the body shop fuck up? Not sure which of those will air first. Watch this space. Thank you, car fans, for watching another episode of the restoration of my Mazda RX-3. Click that like button, hit that big red subscribe link, watch my previous episodes, and don't miss my upcoming videos. Peace out, brother.